for you to create your own religion for you personally. Because the emotional dark age is upon us. We Let's pull it down and then build it back up so that you understand that you're creating your reality every day with your thoughts. Sort of being played, but we're being played by our very selves because we are source. But Teal Swan came to YouTube over a decade ago and basically started making videos under the handle, the name, the spiritual catalyst. People like me are so excited. I look around at everybody that's in my experience and say, oh, this is fantastic. We all came down for this exact moment. This is why so many of the personalities are very intense today. It's because we dove into a very, very catalytic time. The claim is that through her work, through her efforts, she'll bring about a spiritual revolution. Not just because she's an average person who believes in New Age principles and parrots a great many ideas, but because she claims to be an alien, an Arcturian, in human form, who's come to bring about this spiritual revolution. I am a soul fork. Most people in the planet, they're non-physical energy that is projected forth into a physical human body. I am non-physical energy that is perfect, projected forth into an Arcturian body, an extraterrestrial body. Now that, uh, that extraterrestrial being has chosen to then project forth as a human body 12 times. This is the 12th incarnation. Before I even came down, um, there was an entire panel of beings, Arcturian beings, six-dimensional beings, who even chose the way I would look in this life. So I came down here with the intention of reaching people on every single continent. She makes a great many claims about her past, her abilities, her knowledge, although typically she tends to replicate the standard kind of New Age self-help ideas that aren't all that far from the average New Age belief. That fuel source animating your movements. It's not a vibration they can reach yet. We have all of these tools at our disposal now for us designing our own process of spirituality. That crystal or rock is supposed to be with that person. We are in control of us. We've just lost touch with our higher selves. This is stepping outside the ego mind. She speaks about certain psychological subjects and botches up some ideas. She gives out bad medical advice on occasion, including advice on suicide. I know I spoke a bit earlier about the fact that we had to, you know, with my previous client this, that committed suicide, we had to have the conversation. Are you really going to commit to life or are you going to commit to death? You're the kind of person who really doesn't actually want to live yet. You have not committed to life yet. For the majority of people here on Earth, death is such a liberation that you would give it to yourself. In some ways, she's pro-suicide. She claims to have been involved in a satanic cult. Oh. What, what happened was I grew up in a town, a very small town, that was predominantly LDS. But there was a cult that was in that town called the Blood Covenant. They think that priesthood comes directly from Joseph Smith to men. So if a woman is exhibiting the kind of extrasensory abilities that I was, then it means it's a gift of the devil. They put me in charge of mentally programming children. So I was the one that would bring them in, hook them up to electrodes and torture them. That was my introduction to subconscious mind. Immigrants who maybe mm -hmm. were afraid to go to the authorities? That's exactly what it is. So you don't hear a lot of missing persons reports of people that are going through this. And Teal says that's because they do target the immigrants who come in. I can remember, well, him specifically, not the group five. So you, you physically watched him kill five. Yeah. How many did the group did you witness? Probably seven. He talked about things like watching murders of children, um, her mom hanging from the rafters of a visualization for, through conditioning, things that were just so graphic that I'm like, this can't be real. The fact is, many of her claims are quite ridiculous, and that's all perfectly fine as a matter of belief. You can believe as you will, but when it comes down to actual important issues, such as psychology, such as psychotherapy, such as health, including the psychological as well as the physical, well, I think she kind of lets herself down there, giving out some pretty bad advice over the years. I actually, interestingly enough, lost my first client to suicide this last year. And so we had that very serious sit-down talk where we had to say, all right, we're either committing or not committing to life, because every time I gave her a suggestion, she'd stop in two days. So then we have to ask the question, do we really want this to work? And what's interesting is when she asked herself that question, the answer was no, I'm done. So there's nothing that any healer could ever do for that type of vibration, which is totally fine. From source energy, there's nothing wrong with death from that perspective. So she chose to commit suicide. Interestingly enough, it took her about two days before she was reincarnated again. Don't believe for a second that Jim Jones thought that he was causing people harm. He thought that he was helping people. He thought that the only way for them to be free was to die. 
What suicide is, is pushing the reset button. Basically, I got lost in this horrendous neighborhood in New Jersey, and I was, I wanted to tap into what they were feeling like. And what was interesting is, you know, the person who I was driving with was asking me, what's the dominant negative vibration here? And even though there's lots of rape, tons of crime, tons of poverty in the area, that was not the lowest vibration. The lowest vibration was this feeling, which I call the glass ceiling. It's almost like, I can't, I'm never going to get out of this. This is my life. So, like, if I work in a factory cleaning laundry, that's my life. And what I was, I watched a very interesting vibration on the women specifically, and it was this. Some of them were actually feeling so hopeless that they were wanting rape. Here's the thing, though. A lot of people who commit suicide, they get in one of those negative spirals, so they're desiring things so extremely, and they're not letting themselves line up with that thing they're desiring so extremely, so that the only way that they can fully line up with it is through death. Everything they desire. That's why it feels so good to die. You have basically accumulated in what a lot of people who teach teach law of attraction would call a vibrational escrow. It's essentially that every time you experience something unwanted, you broadcast what is wanted, and that becomes the vibration of your eternal self. Your eternal self, which has no resistance, adopts that vibration exactly, so that when you die, you line up with it, and you become that. So when you die, it's like lining up with the best food you've ever eaten and the lover who you've always wanted and I mean I could list this whole thing everything you've ever wanted from your life mm. you line up with who for whatever reason find themselves unable to find that alignment we don't need to condemn their decision to commit suicide really once they do we must understand that that is relief and it is release and they have set themselves free and they have pushed the reset button and they have re-emerged with source perspective. My childhood, you know that I, I basically was the cult that I was part of. They put me in charge of mentally programming children. So I was the one that would bring them in, hook them up to electrodes and torture them. That was my introduction to subconscious mind. Now you could get me off the hook by saying, well, yeah, but you were a victim because you were part of the cult. Yeah, you're right. So let's think of something else. The thing to remember about these spiritual teachers is that they're typically lying through their teeth. They're compulsive liars even if they believe in some of the ideas that they preach. I think Robert almost comes along, comes with a deep psychosis. 